Bake, bake, bake as fast as you can. Everyone loves gingerbread men. Today we're filling the kitchen with the familiar smells of cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg. We're gonna take one gingerbread dough and make three awesome treats from it. First, we're gonna mix together our flour, and then we're gonna do two teaspoons of the McCormick ginger. And that's really the key flavor in gingerbread. And then we're going to do a teaspoon of cinnamon, which is another really nice, warm, toasty spice. And then we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Now, nutmeg has a really strong flavor, so we only add the quarter teaspoon. And then we're going to add our baking soda and our salt. And whisk that all together until it is nice and combined. Set that aside. Now we come over to our wet ingredients. So we've got butter, and we're going to add our brown sugar to it, and we're gonna beat that until it is light and fluffy. This is actually a really important step for cookie baking because we're making little air pockets in the butter, which is gonna make a nice and light crispy cookie. Now see how much that's lightened up in color? That's because we've incorporated air and we've really whipped it nice and light. So now we are going to add our egg. We're going to add our molasses, which you might need a spatula to get it out. You can also spray a baking cup with baking spray ahead of time if you don't wanna scrape it out. And then we are going to add a teaspoon of our McCormick vanilla extract. Perfect, all right. We're gonna blend it all back up together. Do this on medium speed until it's nice and combined. All right, so that looks good like that. So now we are going to add our flour and we're going to do this in three different additions. So we're gonna do a little bit. And then we're going to beat this in. Start slow. All right. And we can add our second batch of flour now. Beat it up. There we go. All right. And we're going to add our last little bit. Dum, 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 dum. Great. All right. We're just going to do this one. All right. I would say that once we look like that, well, we can incorporate the last little bit by hand. Just make sure it's nice and in there. Beautiful. Now we can take our beaters off. Get that dough. It is sticky, so if you have to use your finger, it's okay. Just make sure your hands are clean. <laughs> so this is our finished dough, but we are going to refrigerate this. So we are going to lay out a sheet of plastic wrap and then dump our dough right on there. We're gonna chill this, and then when it's out of the refrigerator, we can divide it up. Okay, so our dough has been sitting in the refrigerator. Now it's nice and firm and ready to be rolled out. So while our oven preheats to 350, we are going to start by dividing this into a section that we're gonna cut off, and we can set the rest of it aside. I'm gonna roll this dough out between two sheets of parchment paper because it is a little bit sticky. You can also put a little bit of flour on your hands, and what I actually like to do is put a little bit of flour just on top so that the parchment doesn't totally stick. And I'm gonna stick that on and roll it out to a quarter inch thickness. All right, and so our dough is all rolled out. We can lift off the parchment paper. And now it's time to use the cookie cutter to cut our men out. So you wanna to try to place them as close to each other as possible on here so that you don't have to re-roll your dough out a bunch of times. So now we can peel away our excess dough. And if they're really soft, use a little offset spatula to gently lift them off and place them onto the tray. So if you guys are a little wonky like this, yeah, we're just yeah, gonna say yeah, it's yeah. okay, we accept each other's differences, we embrace it, right? All right, and here we go, the last one. Lift it off and place that right on the tray. All right, we've got these nice and evenly spaced out on our tray, and now we're gonna bake them for eight to 10 minutes. So while our gingerbread men are baking in the oven, we're going to prepare the cookies for our kiss cookies and our whoopie pies. And we're gonna open this up. We're gonna use a one tablespoon scoop to make little balls, and then you can just pull it right off. If your hands get really sticky, you can use a little bit of the flour there. And then we roll it up, we roll it in the sugar, make sure it's nice and coated, and we place it down. We do it again. All right, so now we are going to set out our cooling rack because our gingerbread men are ready to come out of the oven. Let's see. Oh, there they are. You know that they are done because they are nice and golden brown. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna bake those at 350 for eight to 10 minutes so you don't even have to change your oven. All right, so now it is time to take our cookies out of the oven. So, we've got two trays here. Now, one tray, I'm immediately 
going to take these off with the spatula and cool them for our whoopie pies. So we're just gonna set those aside really quick. We've got that beautiful, nice crackly top. And now for these, while they're still warm, we're going to press our kisses right down on top and use the heat of the cookie to melt the kiss. All right, so those are all set. And now we are going to come over here and make our lemon cream filling. In the bowl already, we've got cream cheese and butter. We're going to add our marshmallow cream. And then we're going to add a teaspoon of the McCormick lemon extract. And that's where all our lemon flavor comes from. And the lemon actually goes so well with the spice. It's a really surprising and delicious combination. Mm. We're going to take our mixer and blend this up until it's nice and light. All right, so once the filling looks like this, we're gonna set it aside until our cookies are completely cooled and then we're gonna fill them. All right, so our whoopie pie cookies are completely cool and now we are going to spread just about a tablespoon of filling onto each one and then we're going to sandwich it just like that until it just oozes out of the sides. And then you can roll those sides. We've got crushed candies, we've got sprinkles and we've got pistachios. So today I'm gonna go for pistachios. Great, look at that, so pretty. So here we have got our three beautiful treats all plated up and ready to enjoy. My favorite thing about this is that I only have to make one batch of dough and I've got three really different things. You've got a classic gingerbread, you've got something with a lot of unique flavors like peppermint and pistachio, and then we've got our chocolate over here. So there's something to please everyone. Get in your kitchen and have fun. Check out this episode, plus all the other episodes in the Flavor Maker app. There's all sorts of great features. You can create a digital spice rack, discover amazing recipes, create shopping lists, and find tons of inspiration. Check it out in the App Store or at flavormakerapp.com.